Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, just like on the yellow hat. And in this Ham Shack chat, I'm responding to a request from a viewer to discuss a few things about Vara HF, that's a virtual terminal node controller or TNC, also called a modem. So, Rebecca, this one's for you. This one's for you. Vara HF is a powerful data exchange tool. It's free to download and use. However, for a one-time fee, you can register the software and get some additional capabilities. This registration can be used on multiple computers and radios. I've included a link in the video description where you can download the software. As a caveat, I'll let you know that this is not going to be a deep dive. Rather, I'm going to show you what you need to know and do just to get on the air with these VARA HF supported programs. I do plan on some short, well, short for me, videos exploring some of the bells and whistles that can help you with your operational enjoyment. If there's something that you see that you'd like me to expand upon, or if you just have questions, concerns, maybe shared experiences, or general remarks, please leave them down in the comments. The comment only made her more popular. So right about now, you're yelling at me. You're saying, hey, Tom, what the heck? What are you playing at? You told us you were going to tell us about Vara HF and you've got WSJT. Well, you're right, but I've got a reason. First off, I want to give you a little encouragement. We're going to go to our settings and go to our radio tab. Now, right here, you see I've got my FTDX. I've got my COM5, yours will probably be different. Baud rate, everything's set. And I got my cat working and my push to talk working, as you can see down there on the rig. And the encouragement is, if you've got this far with WSJTX and have been working FT8 and had no problems, you are about 95% of the way. We're going to take you the rest of the way. Now the thing I want to let you know is come down here, you see force control lines. These are blank. Your DTR, you don't select high or low, you just take the blank. Now let's go take a look at WinLink using the Vara HF TNC. Now that we've taken a look at something that many of you are already familiar with, let's move on and explore some uses of Vara HF, beginning with WinLink. If you're enjoying this so far, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. I like that. WinLink Express is used for sending emails over the air. And it uses a bunch of different TNCs to make that happen. Over here under Open Session, right next to it is a pull down. And you can see all the variations on a theme that you have. We're going to select the Vara HF and I'm going to open my session. And you'll see I am connected to my FTDX10 on COM5 at that baud rate. This is the Vara TNC down in the bottom here. And I'm going to start by coming up here on settings. I'm going to go Vara TNC setup. If you've got a registered copy like I do, you can use the big bandwidths your transfer of information will go a lot faster. If you're not, then you're going to be limited to 500. It's slower, but it still works. Slow and steady wins the race. Cancel out of this, and we're going to go to the radio setup. Now you can see that I'm using my FTDX10. Down here, I'm on COM5, my enhanced COM port. I have enabled RTS. For the serial port option, I'm selecting the FTDX10. When you update this, this whole thing is going to reset and some people freak out because it goes away. But it does come back. Down here in the Vara HF TNC, we're going to click on settings and go to Vara setup. That brings this up. All of this stuff is default. You're going to put your call sign in there and if you have a registration, they will actually send you the registration key and you'll put that number in here. Next I'm going to come down here to my sound card and this pops up. You want to make sure you have your audio codecs chosen. 
The one that shows up for the DX10 is all capital letters USB audio codec. For example, if I was using my 710, it would show up capital A audio, the rest in lowercase, and device with a capital D. Now we can do a test here. I'm going to press my tune. I've got my radio set at ALC. So you can see I'm sitting right there. Here it tells you to keep it at one third. I'm going to tell you you don't need to be that critical. Keep it between one third and one half and you'll be fine. If you go a little high, don't worry about it. If you go a little low, yeah, you might have problems making contact. But between one third and one half ALC is good. So I'm going to stop that, close our sound cards. I'm going to come back here one more time. I'm going to go to my VARA setup and you'll see that I've got this set for five retries. If I pick a station and don't get it in the first five, I'm probably not going to get it. A lot of people go all the way up to 30. That's just a waste of time. Some people go two or three. That's not enough tries. Five or 10 are the two sweet spots and I choose five. Now one more thing that you're going to see me do is up here we have an auto connect feature. You can come up here to the channel selector and pick up somebody and I'm going to put this all the way up at the top and you can see VE3EAD is here and you can double click on that and you'll see he's populated then I would click start and I would try to make contact with him. I prefer using auto connect. So we come to our settings, auto connect. The important ones is seconds for the status to settle. If it doesn't hear a busy station for two seconds, it's going to go ahead and try. And your minimum VARA signal to noise ratio, I've got that at a minus 18. I'm going to save that and we're going to click auto connect. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this so you can see how this works. And that completes the cycle. Now usually what I will do when I'm running through all those stations that you just saw me run through, I check my WinLink emails first thing in the morning. I turn on my computer and check my WinLink. And I'll generally turn it on, press auto connect, walk away, take care of anything I got to take care of, get another cup of coffee. Coffee? That sort of stuff. Come back and it's usually done by that time. Now you can see I didn't have any mail wait waiting for me, so I didn't download anything, but I hope you got the idea. Now if you want to, here is my WinLink email. Once you get this up and working, send me an email over WinLink and I will be thrilled to reply to you. Now I will remind you that my whole purpose in this video was to give you enough information to get you on the air and get you started. And I think I've done that. Now, get on the air, play with the other features, see what you can find out, see what you like, what you don't like. And if you have any questions, or if you want me to do an expanded version of working with WinLink VARA HF, I can do that. I've added links to both WinLink Express and VARA HF download pages in the video description. In the next segment, we're going to be taking a look at what I feel, personal opinion here, is hands down the best keyboard to keyboard rag chew mode since PSK first turned up, well that's a couple of decades ago, without the annoying decoding errors. You see VARA HF is forward error correcting and that's what makes it so powerful. If you found this video interesting, educational, or if you're just looking forward to adding these programs to your communication skills, please share. Everyone? I get to tell everyone! With your friends, compatriots, and cohorts in the amateur radio community. And you know what I'm going to say next, especially on social media. Now here's a part of the video that I think all of you have been wanting. In my opinion, VARAC is the best rag shoe mode out there. It does have some other features, but I'll let you discover those for yourself. 
This is your BARAC control panel. This is where you're going to actually do all your talking. You can type a message in here. You can send preloaded messages. And you see right now I'm set on 14105. Over here you have two functions, beacons and CQ calls. I can answer either of these. However, the guy calling CQ is the guy who wants to talk to somebody. The guy sending the beacon, eh, they just want to let you know they're out there. So let's go up here to our settings and open my information. Now here you want to make sure that you tell them you're speaking English. And if you don't speak English, put whatever language you speak in there. So down here, all you need is your call sign. You can put down special suffixes and special prefixes if you want. You want to put in your QTH. Some people put in city and state. Some people might just put in the country. It's all there. You do want your name here and you want your maidenhead locator, six digit. Down here, I put down all of the rigs that I have and I put down depending on my mood because that's the way it really works. Now, to be honest, usually when I'm doing digital modes, I'm working with my IC7300. My output power, I try to keep it at 50 and I've got a Gap Challenger DX. You want to put your information in here. Now over here, you can put an icebreaker if you want. Uh, my age is 67. My profession, I am a soon to be retired avionics engineer. As of the writing of this, I've got less than a month before my retirement. He's gonna cross the finish line. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now we can go ahead and save this and exit out. And we're gonna send a beacon. You will not see my call sign populate up in here. However, all these other folks who are out there listening will see my call sign populate. So I'm going to send my beacon. Every 15 seconds, I'll, I will automatically send that beacon. That's just to let people know that I'm here. Now, I'm not going to make a QSO, but I'm going to show you how to call QSO. So we're going to come up here to call QSO, and you'll see that we have our calling frequency, and we've got a number of slots. We've got 10 slots. And if you look down here, this is where I'm actually going to be having the QSO. I'm going to announce my CQ message, and tell them which slot I'm in. So slot 1, it puts me at 14.104250. Slot 2, 103.5, and so on. Each one is at a different location. So over here, we're going up, and up, and up, and up. They give you a warning to make sure the slot is not out of band. Just be cautious of that. Although you're calling on 105, you're going to QSY over here to 14108 once something is established. Now, I'm just going to randomly pick five here. What you want to do, you want to click on this slot sniffer because I'm listening on 105. But if I click on this, I'm now listening on that 102.75. And I'm going to do it again. And... Notice that there's a green bar that is shrinking. You want to hold it until it's done. Now, if I were to call CQ, my system would start calling CQ. One thing that happens that, that I love with VARAC is that they've got a lot of great documentation. And they tell you exactly what is going to happen. You can easily have an hour-long QSO plus. We talk for hours. But at this point, I think I've given you enough information to get you started on VARAC. Once you get started, start playing with it. Pick out the features. I'll give you one just to show you. I'll close this down. And I'll come up here to my settings. Now, this is where I entered my rig control information. Here, I'm going to go into appearance and sounds. You can have a narrator who's going to read everything to you. They're going to, they can read you the incoming messages. They're going to tell you when, there's, when there is an incoming chat message, when you're putting out a chat message, if there is a V-mail available to you. A V-mail is the internal VARAC mail system. So 
And if you can hear in the background, these are all the informations that you're going to get. Hello, connected My name to 4Zulu1Alpha Charlie. Beacon from 4Zulu1Alpha Charlie. CQ from 4Zulu1Alpha Charlie. Broadcast from 4Zulu1Alpha Charlie to all. I love chatting with VAR AC. Okay, that was the narrator that I have picked, and I, I hope she came across. Uh, but I'll just close this and leave it to you to go out there and find the other bells and whistles that will increase your operating enjoyment. Like the other software we've looked at, I've added a link to the VAR AC download page and hope to have a rag chew with you on that mode in the very near future. And once again, thank you to Rebecca who recommended this content. I hope that it met her expectations. Please remember to comment, like, share, and please consider subscribing to this channel. I certainly appreciate it. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I am at your service. This has been a Ham Shack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. Would you like more turkey, Rebecca?